Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This will be a yours and theirs with clarifiers. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you're doing well. I've been away for a minute. Had to take an unexpected time out to prepare for the loss of a loved one. And I am back and I'm feeling particularly healed and blessed at this time. So with that, let's see what's going on between you and your person and what messages spirit have for you at this time Aquarius take what resonates and leave the rest this is a general reading spirit will call in those who need this reading the most and spirit moves the cards so we wait for a flipper to get started the first column will call Aquarius the second column will be your person and the third will be the shared energies and we will pull some advice from spirit at the end so, please hit like and subscribe. It helps to support the channel. And the sooner we get the numbers where they need to be, I would love to do live readings and take your real-time questions. There you go. Showing up. Seven of coins in your column. But energy is fluid, so whichever column you identify with, go with that. Seven of coins is uh, all about the harvest. We've been efforting, putting a lot of work into something here. There's still more to do, though. We have the Knight of Swords, the desire to take action swiftly, followed by the Mentor, also known as the Hierophant in other decks. Um, this is all about your alignment, alignment with your highest self. Hopefully, we'll see what the clarifiers say. That's where all the real information is. Your person is showing up. King of Coins, the master of stability. Yes, this is a very good manager of things. We'll see what kind of things they're managing or that they would like to manage there in a level of mastery. Followed by the Five of Wands. This is conflict. This is some arguing, some battling going on here either with themselves or with others. Hmm. And the eight of coins, they are working very hard. You've got the seven, they've got the eight. Progress is being made with the two of you together is what it looks like so far. In the shared energies, queen of coins, this is all about nurturing energy, self-care. And again, we'll get more with the clarifiers followed by the King of Swords in the Shared Energy. Uh, this is the masterful decision maker right here with clarity and logic. All right. And finally in the Shared Energies, the Hermit. Taking time to heal, the deepest healing card in the tarot. Uh, taking time out alone to reflect, to shine the light in the dark, to examine self-examine and examine the relationship perhaps to see what is in the way so that we can heal it absolutely the overall energy of your reading Aquarius the star this is about your divine wishes and dreams something you really want something that is so important to you uh, in this at this time and the reason we were brought here today for this particular reading what brings us here is the nine of wands We've been through a lot. We are feeling wounded, we're tired, we're exhausted here. We are, uh, we've been through it. Whatever it is, we're, we're just protecting our energy at this point in time. Uh, be, being very guarded at this point. Determined to persevere through it, but very self-protective energy right here after the battling that has been felt. All right, so there's a lot of hope here and a lot of healing here in your reading. Um, before we move on to the clarifiers, let's just talk about this. The, again, the overall energy of the reading being your divine wish and dream. This is something super important to you that you've been working on 
it's not at its completion yet. Uh, your partner showing up is showing up with a lot of supported, uh, supportive energy with the King of Coins. It's stability, it's resources, it's like, hey, I'm here for you, whatever you need. Uh, followed by the Queen of Coins and the shared energy, it's just absolutely very, very caring and very, very nurturing at this point in time. Whatever it is that you've been through and working so hard on in this sort of mid-journey, it looks like. Um, next row we've got the Knight of Swords. This is you feeling like, I gotta do something now. I want to take action. I've attained some knowledge and some information and I really want to move swiftly on this. Um, but your person is showing up conflicted about that. Maybe they're arguing with you about that. Maybe they don't agree with you on that. Uh, but in the end, with the two of you working together, we definitely have this masterful energy of the King of Swords able to make the, the uh, mature decisions with clarity and, um, and logic, and it's, it's very powerful. So next we are showing up with you in your alignment with your highest self, experiencing faith and uh, it's about your belief system. Your, your partner showing up here again, once again, in a very supportive energy with the Eight of Coins. They're here to work on it as well. Working on the alignment. I don't know if this has to do with the relationship itself or something that you're experiencing and your partner is playing the supportive role here. Again, we'll find out more as, as time goes on. But the Hermit as the shared energy is extremely healing. Alignment, working for the deepest heels. It's beautiful. It's self-reflection. It's um, thoughtful and uh, very, very caring and supportive in this reading. I really like it, the energies thus far. Okay, let's start out clarifying the star. This big wish and dream of yours for hope and healing, renewal. It's all here. Your wishes, your dreams coming true, miracles outright miracles are here. Spirit, why is the star here and what does Aquarius and their person need to know, please? The star. Show us the star. There it is. The moon. The two of pentacles. And the seven of pentacles, which is how you show up over here. It's um, it's saying that this dream is just sort of what I was saying before. It's in mid um, journey here, if you will. It's yet to be revealed. It's not at completion. Things are still hidden or buried beneath the surface. They just haven't shown up yet. Um, and you're going back and forth. It's like you're weighing things. Uh, what hasn't shown up to what you want to still show up. All the effort that you've put in versus the result. And uh, and so right now it's a time of assessment. It's a time of um, a little bit of pause to, to see where am I at? Am I, am I keeping the balance? Yes, you are. It looks like you are very well. And uh, you're just weighing it back and forth, back and forth as you keep this balance going here. The reason we're here, we always look at the bottom of the deck, the reason for this part of the lineup, the Eight of Cups. Hmm. Somebody disconnected from their heart space. I don't feel like it was you. I feel like someone in your life, and I don't necessarily feel like at this point anyway that it is your partner. Although, again, clarifiers will let us know. Somebody left. Somebody moved on. Somebody had. Somebody was being called someplace else. And uh, and it's a disconnect. And it's painful. It's painful for the one walking away or moving away or moving on to whatever they're being called to. And it's painful for those that feel all the love left behind. Okay. Let's take a look at how you're showing up over here, the Seven of Coins. Yeah, I can feel you've been through it. You've been through some heartache here. Let's look at the Seven of Coins, all of this efforting. You've already shown us twice in very few cards of the many. Uh, 
with the seven of coins pay attention to the repeating energies they stand out so you are efforting you've put a lot of work in and you kind of want to figure out how is it going queen of pentacles same as the queen of coins coming up in the shared energies this is um this is definitely self-care and self-nurturing you need healing at this time and you need to make sure that you give it to yourself showing up on the seven of coins it's um again it's in the middle of it you're not fully healed you've done a lot so far but you're still still up to it okay the high priestess nice paying attention to your intuition what feels right when you close your eyes and you go within and you get connected to your heart space and your higher self it's uh the perfect match to the mentor also known as the hierophant and we also have the king and queen of coins on the board the queen here twice as well so you are doing a lot of inner work aquarius you are really trying to stay in touch with what's important here staying grounded and um and still you know wanting to move forward through this and uh paying attention to that intuition it's that and the queen of pentacles oh my gosh it's it's extremely healing work and the knight of wands um this is someone who wants to move quickly you'd like to get through this a little bit faster you're kind of in a hurry you like uh whatever this is this is kind of being in a hurry i don't know maybe you have a deadline you feel like you have i don't know or maybe you just want to hurry up and get through it so that you feel better because the reason we're here that nine of wands that's wounded that's the wounded warrior and uh this knight of wands is is a fighter I'm going to get there. I'm going to do everything I can. I'm calling in all the best energies to help me uh, on this journey so that I can harvest my healing, so that I can bring it to f fruition and move on to where I want to go with my life. Whatever that means for you, Aquarius. Beautiful. And the underlying energies here, Page of Swords. The reason for this lineup is we are taking a closer look. Yes, Seven of Swords. Uh, se I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say Swords. Seven of Coins uh, is is that, um, you know, assessment. Taking another look with the page. Taking a closer look. Getting yourself ready for something. Uh, you're in learning mode here. There's, it's a, it's tied up to a, a big major life lesson of learning here, how to, how to do what you're trying to do over here. And again, it's all about your healing. It's beautiful. Let's look at your person here showing up as the king of coins. It is so supportive, so super so. You can't get any more supportive as someone showing up for you than with the stability of the king of coins uh being able to manage all the things take care of the resources take care of uh helping you plan and uh keeping things stable show us the king of coins for aquarius's person there it is oh look at that wow a whole bunch of cards we're only going to take the first one because the whole deck flipped up we're just taking this top one and we're going to flip it back over or the top three we're going to take for this. We have uh, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups for the blessings on our homestead, for the blessings of healing and happiness. Knight of Pentacles. Things are moving slowly. And the Ten of Pentacles. This is everything. This is tied up to your everything, or it is everything to your person to support you in this very stable way. Even though the Knight of Pentacles is here, that's okay. It's slower than we would like. We're feeling a little bit of impatience, but we are exhibiting all the patience and stability and the love of this family. It's a family situation. It's legacy. It's um, it's really, it's tied up to everything, and they are just a super duper support system. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles says, slowly but surely we're going to get there, and the King of Coins is here saying, I am here for you I love you we're gonna do this we're gonna get through this whatever you need I'm here it's so nice so so nice and the underlying reason that we're here
this is the underlying reason right here wheel of the year that's the bottom of the deck it's uh it's beautiful it's um helping to make major changes that are fortunate and for the better absolutely your person is so supportive it does not get any better than that i don't think so i do not think so slowly but surely they're here for you they're like a rock they love you like a rock i think that's a song or words in a song let's look at the queen of coins this nurturing energy in the shared energies the queen of coins please what does Aquarius and their person need to know about this lovely Queen of Coins energy? Take the card flipped up first. We have the Chariot, the vehicle to victory. Yes, through self-care, self-nurturing, and you both are involved in this as they are your support system, and you're over here doing that in a major way. Seven of Swords. Hmm. This is uh, the energy of someone who uh, moved on they took their things and left and it may have been in a sneaky kind of way that's how the seven of swords shows up let's see what your third clarifier is queen of cups she comes with her heart wide open ready to forgive love support and nurture did that person move on vehicle to victory, nurturing. Let's look at the bottom. Three of pentacles. This is about coming together with others to possibly rebuild some stability here or build stability at a very early level, but I do feel like in looking at this arrangement that someone has moved on. We saw the eight of cups underlying here. And now we're seeing the uh, Queen, I'm sorry, the Seven of Swords on the Queen of Coins with the Queen of Cups on the Queen of Coins. It's just nurturing energy, trying to heal through this about someone who may have left. And this is the way we're going to heal it. This is the way we're going to get to victory. We need self-care, forgiveness of ourselves, of others, whatever it is, forgiving them, healing through it, and... Uh, yeah, that's the, the message over here. Again, just showing us sort of why we're healing, why we're in self-care, because somebody moved on. Okay. All right. Again, they felt like they were being called someplace else, and then here we are trying to heal them actually leaving. Let's take a look at the Knight of Swords, how you're showing up over here wanting to do something show us the knight of swords please what does Aquarius and their person need to know there it is okay nine of pentacles independent independence there three of cups but coming together with others possibly reuniting uh, wanting to commune with others and in good times in love and friendship and it's it's just a good feeling of celebrating coming together so it's kind of like on one's own but coming together and the empress oh this is just the most perfect energy right here when she shows up she's just someone who it's an energy of perfection uh, if it's representing a person it's saying I think they're perfect if it's representing ourselves, it's ourselves in alignment with our highest selves, just in wonderful alignment. She's grounded. She's the most nurturing energy of all the uh, major arcana. And um, she's creative as could be. She's beautiful, attractive, and um, resourceful. She has just everything going on. If it's talking about a situation, which it feels like here, Either you feel this way about someone or or you feel that coming together would be the most perfect energy, which is what it feels like more 
to me, the second thing. Uh, with the Knight of Swords wanting to take action, I would like to bring this together quickly. I'm um, independent over here, but I want to bring this together, and it would just be the most perfect thing that could happen if you could bring it together or back together. Like I said, it's, it's uniting or reuniting, and I kind of think uh, possibly reuniting since we saw two cards of someone leaving. At the bottom, we have the Magician. Yes, you would like to manifest this. You are trying to manifest it, and um, it's very beautiful energy. The Magician says, I have everything I need to manifest this. I want to manifest this. This is why I'm here, trying to manifest this. Okay. All right. The only thing I have to say at this point is, even though the Magician has everything they need, there's an ingredient that if you're trying to bring something together, it's what the other party is doing as well. How they show up is important. You might have everything you need, but if they're not showing up, well, you know, that's the only reason it wouldn't work. Otherwise, if they're going to show up and you got the magician and they want the same thing, this is going to come together. Let's see what else is going on. Your person's over here showing up with the five of wands. They feel conflicted about it. Maybe they disagree with uh, the fact that it should reunite. I don't know, but I can tell you think that's the perfect scenario with the Empress, for sure. Show us the Five of Wands and Aquarius this person's position, please. Five of Wands. Why is it here? Okay, here it is. Knight of Swords. Okay, so now we're about to see what they want to do. You see what you want to do. Let's see what they want to do. Because they're battling. Eight of Swords. There's a f energy of entrapment. Stuck. Uh, unable to see what the right thing is here. Right actions to take. Uh, King of Wands. Hmm. And at the bottom, a new beginning with the full. That's the reason we're here. They feel conflicted about it. They can't see how it would work out. Um, they would rather not take any action at this time, it looks like. Even though the King of Wands is here, all about action. There's fighting, battling, arguing. There's a little schmutz on the card, I thought. Anyway, sorry. Um... Yeah, they're conflicted about this new a new start. Um, having to do with the King of Wands energy. I feel like this is a different person in this. The King of Wands is all about confidence in its highest polarity, the King of Wands um, takes masterful action. They don't second guess themselves. They're very strategic and skilled at whatever their actions are that they decide. So it could represent your person in, in the conflict with you. You want to bring it together. They the, the actions they would like to take are more Eight of Swords. It's um, not now. It's, there's too much chaos and confusion mentally and maybe physically as well. It's, it's a real energy of, I'm, I'm just stuck here. But they're confident about it if the King of Wands is them. If it's not them, then it represents another person. Now, I only spoke about the higher polarity. If they're having all these reservations, like not to take action, just to stay put, it's, uh, it's because the, uh, a king of wands energy might be in their lower polarity. And that is controlling and egotistical uh, so I don't know what's going on or who that King of Wands is. If it's your person, they're confident. They just rather stay put while the energies are confusing and feeling stuck. 
Okay, so there's a couple different ways that can be read. We're going to learn more specifics, I think, as the reading commences. It always ends up in these last two cards where I gain more understanding by the time we get there. So let's take a look at the King of Swords, the masterful and logical decision in the shared energies. Why is the King of Swords here, Spirit? What does Aquarius and their person need to know, please? Perhaps this Two of Pentacles on this wish and this dream is just, I'm unsure. Sometimes I want to reunite, sometimes maybe not. I better halt and assess the situation because there's still a lot of confusion with the moon here. Confusion, like the Eight of Swords confusion, like it's that stuck energy or the, it's just not revealed yet with clarity. But the King of Swords over here, he brings a clarity. He puts his heart to the side when he makes his decisions. He's aware of his emotions but he doesn't let them dictate the decision. Show us the King of Swords, please. If we're thinking logically, Nine of Cups. Four of Wands. The High Priest, which is the same as the next card that we are clarifying. I love it when that happens, like it happened over here, the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So here we have the two same cards again. Um, nine of coin, I mean, Nine of Cups. This is again in the shared energy for our own personal happiness and wish fulfillment and satisfaction with this situation and making a masterful decision about it. Um, the King of Swords says, Four of Wands, we must commit. Uh, Four of Wands, this, the stability of a commitment is here. Uh, we must go within to connect to our highest self, which I'm so glad we get to clarify this next because we're going to see your connection over here where you're at. Um, connect to our highest self to reach this decision. It's all about going within like the high priestess. The high priest is already connected 100% of the time. The high priestess, one of your clarifiers over here, is, you know, one foot in each world. All you got to do is close your eyes, go within, get silent, and the high priestess immediately connects. So, uh, like the high priest is connected. That's why they're a perfect couple. So, the King of Swords, both of you seem to agree that we need to make this decision from our highest level of consciousness and we really need to take our time when it comes to thinking about the stability of this commitment and, and our wish fulfillment here and what's going to feel really satisfying and make us happy at the bottom. The reason for that, aww, I love this card, the Knight of Cups, the Messenger of Love, uh, he expresses his emotions. That's what he does. Hopefully it's always love and good tidings. Um, but it really is, at, at the base level, uh, we're expressing ourselves here from our heart space. And by the cards that came out, it is love. Being connected to our highest selves is love. Wanting a stability of a commitment and that being the wish fulfillment here, it is love. So yeah, it's beautiful absolutely beautiful but over here just looking back at your person they don't feel like things are stable here they're confusing so uh anyway that's that row let's move on and take a look at the mentor here over here in your column aquarius the mentor show us what aquarius and their person need to know about this connection card of, uh, of, our, of our alignment. Show us the alignment. Being in alignment. What does Aquarius need to know about this card of alignment? We're going to take them all. You're getting a little story. It's like five cards. Oop, <laughs> flew out of my hand. So speaking of the word connection I was using, uh, this is a very important connection on your heart, Aquarius. It's the kind of connection that will always be with you no matter what happens. Uh, you carry it around on your heart 
it's like a tattoo on your heart or a scar on your heart or maybe a little bit of both but they're always with you the eight of pentacles same as the eight of coins your person is showing up for this is what you're focused on this is what you're working hard on and it's taking repetitive work to align with what you want about this connection oh we have a shadow side yeah just as I thought um, this uh, this is some sort of unhealthy behavior pattern that's showing up I think about your connection not about you but about the the one that you are thinking of and working so hard to bring it about there's the two of swords I'm confused I'm up in my head and I just can't see what to do or make a decision about it two of swords two of pentacles it's similar I can't see it the moon I can't see the right decision to make I'm just trying to keep the balance I'm putting in the work I'm putting in the energy I'm trying to stay aligned with my heart space and my highest self but it looks like your connection the one that we're thinking of here in this reading who has caused all this you know uh, wounded energy that you show up in it's um, they've got some sort of unhealthy behavior tied up to it which maybe this king of wands here with you know on coming out on the eight of swords they're conflicted about the actions that you want to take that's what that's saying see see how it gets a little clearer I can speak about it a little bit better here um, it looks like your person is conflicted about the actions that you want to take uh, Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords, uh, about this, this King of Wands energy, I think this is your, the connection on your heart, I think that's what it represents, and it's a person who's stuck in like a tornado of the mind, it's, it's completely mentally, uh, confused energy, confusing energy, so something's tied up to this, with the shadow side which is equivalent of the devil card in in other decks is how it's named and it, it we all have it it's just unhealthy behavior patterns whatever that represents and the final card is the page of pentacles this is making the investment you're learning you're investing time money energy resources whatever it is it's investing in um, aligning with your highest self to help you make this decision that at this point in the game you still are confused about we're not there yet hence seven of coins seven of pentacles we're not there yet but we're still efforting at the bottom of the deck the reason we are here for this little lineup four swords yeah that makes sense this is all about a timeout to get our thoughts straight it's meditation the mentor is meditation the four of swords is meditation um, the high priestess is meditation so it's, it's about taking a rest catching our breath and gaining more clarity in our thoughts and it that's just like the seven of pentacles we are t you can really see it in the artwork on this card over here but it's mid harvest and assessment of how we're doing all the work that's been done I need to catch my breath I'm still undecided there's still confusion I really want this this thing is on my heart I really want it I'm investing in it but I'm trying to gain more clarity here as I connect with my highest self really 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 good energy all right let's look at your person showing up with this supportive card of yeah I'm focused on it too I'm here to work with you eight of coins we are making some progress here let's take a look at the eight of coins please in your Aquarius is persons position if you identify with this particular column oh, that one wanted to fly out Oof. carrying the weight of the world on one's shoulders it's as if they're carrying a lot of responsibility here it's it's very hard it's very difficult in mid journey six of swords it's like we're in transition we have left an old way of thinking it's like we're not going back there we've left it physically and we've left it mentally and we're heading someplace new into calmer waters into a brighter place we are we're on this journey to get someplace better but it's really hard yet we're working on it repetitively repetitively it's a it's a guided journey that you guys are on and uh, it's protected but you are not at your um, destination yet here 
but your person is here helping to work on it for sure. There's the wheel of the year, same as the wheel of fortune. Where did this come up? Where did we see it? We saw it at the bottom of those clarifiers. That's where we saw it, I believe. Or was it here? I don't know. Have to watch it again. The wheel of the year is all about to make the major changes for, for the better. So yeah, they're here trying to do it. We're not there yet, but again, they are they are definitely on board working with you, even through this conflicted energy about the actions that we should take regarding this possible King of Wands that has some shadow side energy tied up to them. They're, they feel stuck about it. They feel undecided. They feel conflicted. And the reason we're here, the sun, this is the ultimate success. This is happiness, bliss, and success. Major focus, eight of coins, major focus, the sun, major focus. It's all for the better, but it's a really hard journey. And again, you're in the middle of it, but they're here working on it too, just like you are beautiful energy. Let's take a look at the deepest healing card in the tarot with the hermit. Shining a light in the dark. What is in our way, spirit? What does Aquarius and their person need to know about the hermit, please? Patience while Spirit puts the cards in the right order for you. There it is. Oh, look at that. Thank you, Spirit. They just brought it back around and tied it to the very beginning. The overall energy of your reading, the star, the divine wish, healing healing this, this thing that you're going through, Aquarius. The hanged man. This is... Uh, we're taking a pause. We're taking a step back. The hermit isolates from the situation. We're taking a step back, similar to Four of Swords. Taking a step back, not doing anything at this point in time. On pause, the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Coins. Taking a step back. So it's all here showing that um, we're assessing the situation. We're looking at things from every angle when it comes to our big wish here. Gaining perspective about this wish oh how beautiful is that and the king of cups very stable energy very supportive extremely loving um, and very experienced on the emotional road of life or the emotional waters of life however you want to word that the king remains very calm in their response uh, very masterful in their response, extremely supportive, and with their full cup of love for the entire situation. Uh, as you take this pause to assess and to analyze and to look at every single angle, you do it with all the love in the world because you want to heal it. You want to heal it all the way. It's such beautiful energy. I absolutely love it. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. There it is. We saw it once before somewhere in the reading. Maybe it was back there. Yeah, I think it was back there. Uh, about coming together with others to, um, or maybe it was over here. <laughs> uh, making plans to build or rebuild stability. I think it's rebuild here because again, somebody left the Eight of Cups over here, Seven of Pentacles over there trying to heal it uh, you know I would think that this is maybe your partner that might have left but I don't with their cards showing up all these cards just say there's supportive energy of you except this conflict they're conflicted in how you want to handle it 
over here with the gusto of, oh, let's bring this back together now. I want to come together in love and have everything be perfect. I think they are, um, are just saying, whoa, 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 hold on a minute. Uh, not so fast <laughs> or something like that. Um, don't rush in, uh, that kind of thing. Don't rush in. Um, and they're pretty confident that we shouldn't rush into this. We should take our time some more with this and do it logically. Uh, and not just logically. It's the high priest. It's connected with our soul self. So our heart's wide open, which is how the queen of cups comes and the king of cups comes. It's absolutely stunning. All these cards seem congruent. They go together. They make sense. I don't know exactly what's going on with your story, but just in the general words that I've spoken here today, you want to come together to make plans to rebuild the stability here. Working on this project, you want to heal it. You absolutely want to heal it all the way. Let's pull some advice cards to close this off. Advice for Aquarius spirit. What advice do you have for whatever Aquarians are going through these energies? It's tough. They have a loving, supportive partner here who's working very hard with them. They're calling in all the energies for healing spirit. And uh, I could just tell this is very important on their heart. Very, very important. Let's... Um, Let's get some advice, Spirit. One more. Okay. These cards are huge. I can barely get my fingers around them. There we go. Oh, there it is. Eight of Swords. That's what we saw your partner showing up with over here. Judgment. Queen of Swords. Nice. Okay. That tells me something here. Um, the Eight of Swords. Stuck. Restricted. Can't see which way to go, how to move, what to do, about what? About a decision that you need to make. And it's not just any old decision. It's a major decision that changes things. Wheel of the year changes things in a big way, in a major way, major arcana. And this decision is made from our highest self. It's being called. It's the phone ringing saying, align with your highest self in order to make this decision. It's exactly what the King of Swords said to do over here. Please watch it again if this reading's for you uh, to gain more clarity. Um, you're doing it over here. It's the logical thing to do over here. It's shared a shared idea f with uh, from both of you in order to make this decision. It's it's sort of like saying, like, hold on, make your decision from an aligned place. And the Queen of Swords shows up when she says, this is what I require. These are my boundaries, rules, limitations. So when she's showing up, it's telling me that Spirit is advising to hold off until you feel in the alignment of the Queen of Swords. In other words, you need to be ready to set your rules and your boundaries and the limitations for whatever this relationship is that you want to bring back together in this reuniting ideal situation so that we can be happy in the family, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, uh, slowly but surely. Um, It's very important that you align and make your decision from your highest self to be clear about the boundaries that you need to set, about the requirements that you put on, whatever this is. You need to set them. You can't just go willy-nilly like, oh, thank God we're back together, or things will be different this time, or I don't know what happened, but that kind of thinking, no. You need to be very, very clear. This is what we require. This is what is needed. Let's look at the bottom five of coins right now you're feeling abandonment a sense of abandonment and uh, it's a real feeling of lack feeling out in the cold feeling alone not knowing what to do uh, it's the reason we're here with whoever left 
um, whoever disconnected uh, and that you want to bring back these rules, boundaries, and limitations to be made from your highest self and not taking action until you get there. You'll see more clearly with this, with these two in alignment. What do we require? Have a talk with your partner about it, Aquarius. Come into some agreement because they are your partner supporting you and and uh, I can tell you guys are together in this. So this feels together even though it's advice for you. Um, they share in your support. So absolutely. Rules, boundaries, limitations from our highest selves with love but with logic also and clarity in time, not rushing it even though you want to. Okay. That makes perfect sense. I hope it helps, guys. Um, I sure enjoy reading for you. And if you haven't, please hit like and subscribe. And I look forward to reading for you guys next time. Thank you so much for your patience with my short absence most recently. Thank you. Take care, guys. <laughs>